in this class we are going to discuss about ex ec system call ex ec system call is useful in order to replace the current process image with the new process image so by using ex ec system call we can replace current process with a new process we have various versions of ex ec system call but the most commonly used ex ec system calls are first one is ex ecv system call second one is ex ec lp system call so first let us see about ex ecv system call here the use of ex ecv system call is similar to ex ec system call only so by using ex ecv system call we can replace current process with new process now let us see the prototype of the ex ecv system call it returns an integer value and it accepts two arguments the first argument is a path second argument is a character array point a character array point so let us see with the help of an example hash include stdio.h why because in this program we are using printf function printf function is available in stdio.h so next statement hash include uni std.h here we are using a system called called ex ecv system call that system call is available in hash include uni std.h so initially we are declaring a character pointer array we know the syntax for the character pointer array so char space asterisk name of the variable is temp temp of 3 Uh, so here this is nothing but command line argument that we saw in the c language so we can provide some arguments here we can provide some arguments so uh, in command line arguments we know that we will use uh, uh, this character pointer array but uh, command line arguments means the arguments will be passed from the command prompt but that uh, concept uh, won't be uh, won't be needed here so temp of 3 means totally we can pro provide three arguments the first argument temp of 0 equal to within the double quotation l s l l s so listing the file the second argument temp of 1 equal to minus l minus l next the last argument must be null null indicates that this is the last argument so next we are using ex ecv system call we know that it accept two arguments the first argument is a path here the path is here we are using ls ls command ls command is available in bin command comma whereas what is the second argument second argument is new process here the new process is a character pointer array so here temp is nothing but a character pointer array so that's why we use a stamp here whenever the statement is executed then the current process that is bin slash ls will be replaced with new process that is temp here what is temp temp is nothing but ls minus l command so we will get output of the ls minus l command only suppose if this command is not executed then this statement will be executed so if this command will gets if the system call got executed then this statement won't print so print up this statement won't print so this statement won't be displayed suppose if the system call doesn't execute then this statement will print now let us execute this program so already we have the program pico name of the program is execv.c here i am using ubuntu environment i am using pico editor so this is the program so char star temp of 3 temp of 0 means l 
temp of 1 means minus L. Here we have to provide the commands within the double quotations. Here we are writing LS within the double quotation, minus L within the double quotation. But this null is uh, not a command. This null is a keyword. So we should not, this is nothing but a character pointer array. We know, the, we know about uh, a, 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 an array, character array. Character array is nothing but a string. String means a collection of characters enclosed in double quotations. So that's why we need to enclose ls and minus l within the double quotations. But for none, there is no need of any double quotation. Why? Because this is a keyword. Various temp. Second argument is that character pointer array. That is nothing but temp. Now let us execute the program. So GCC. So what is the name of the program? GCC EX ECV dot C. Yeah. Before executing the command, let us execute LS minus L. LS command is useful in order to list all the files and subdirectories directories present in the directory. Minus L defines long listing. So we will get output like this. So we have 16 files and this is nothing but long listing. So if we execute the program dot slash a dot out, then we will get the output of ls minus l only. Why? Because ls minus l is nothing but our new process. So our temp contains ls minus l only. So if you see here, enter key. So we have 16 files, 16 files. So all are displayed. So this is about execv command. It replaces the current process with new process. So this statement won't execute if execv command successfully executes. Now let us see the <coughs> second version of the exec command that is exec lp system call. Exec lp system call is also available in unistd.h. It also replaces the current process with new process. So the functionality is same only but the syntax is different. Exec lp of the first argument is bin slash ls. This is nothing but our current process. Whereas what is the second argument? Second argument is ls. So that ls is nothing but new process. So here the first argument is current process. Second argument is new process. But here we must supply third argument as the null. Whereas in exec v system call, there is no need of the third argument. Only two arguments are enough. But here we must pass third argument as null. For null, there is no need of any double quotations. So whenever the system call is executed, then the current process bin slash ls will be replaced with new process that is ls. So let us uh, see the execution. So Pico already that program was written. Exec lp that is the name of the program. Yeah, it's not gcc. First, let us open the program. And after that, uh, do the compilation and execution. Yeah. So this is our program. So current process is bin slash ls. New process is ls. It must contain none. <coughs> so if uh, it is executed, if exec lp system call is successfully executed, then this printf statement won't be executed. Okay. Suppose if the statement, if the system call won't execute, then this printf statement will execute. So let us do the compilation. So gcc execlp.c next execute the program dot slash a dot out. So we will get output for ls. We will get output for ls. So if you see here, if we execute ls, then we will get output like this. Okay. Next for dot slash a dot out also, we will get the same output. Same output. Why? Because our new process is ls. So this is about exec system call.